Praise the name of the Lord. Saints of God, we serve an awesome God. We serve a God that now I can look back in my life and I can see not only how awesome God is, but how he has brought me thus far. I remember coming to this country and I was driving down the road one day with someone and while I was in the car, I said to the Lord, I said, God, if you will bless me with a house, I will serve you. And you know, many times we say many things to God, but then we do not follow up on what we say that we will do for God. And I tell you, it wasn't two years that God provide that home for me. Think about it, coming to this country, having nothing, but in two years we were able to purchase my own home. That's a miracle. But God was good because I asked him, I prayed in faith and I believe him, and he provided it. But I renege on my promise. And I tell you, after receiving that house, I didn't have time for God. I was going fixing this and fixing that, inviting my friends over, and we were just look at, looking at all different things when it comes to the house. But there, one day, God allowed something to happen to me that really shook me and woke me up. God said something to me that was so powerful. I was on the roof of the house, and we were fixing the roof. And I don't know what happened. I made a wrong step. I stepped back only to allow myself to fall from the top of the roof. And I was heading down to the ground, which was something like 30 or 40 feet. I could have hurt myself. I could have died. But God in his wisdom and in his miraculous power was able to have me uh, just stop and stop between the ground and also the roof in an, in an area where I did not even recognize I could have hold on to. And at that point when I was holding on there and I was looking up, I heard the Spirit of God so strong that said to me, David, you said when you receive a home, you will serve me. And that was all God said. And at that point, I know within myself that I had to make good on the promise I made to God. I say to you, even then, I walked away and I started still doing my own thing. And I remember sitting in a party house, in a dance hall. Right there, God arrested me. I was sitting for like three and a half, four hours, not doing anything. All the festivity going on around me, but I had no desire for it. God took away the desire for the things of the world like that from my life. And I want you to know that since God has done that for me, I am serving him from then until now. I say to you, after those desires were taken from me, the next week I walked into the church. And in the church I went before the Lord and I give totally rededicated my life to God. And I tell you, I have had such a wonderful experience serving God and experiencing God taking me from strength to strength, from glory to glory. You see me today and you see a pastor, but let me tell you, long before I was a pastor, I was just like you out there who did not know where to look to, where to turn. I did not have a clue about life. But once I found Jesus, I found the true epitome of what life should be. And I'm encouraging you, if you do not know the Lord as your Lord and Savior, let me tell you, the best thing you can do is give God an opportunity in your life to serve him. And let me tell you, he will turn your life around and you will enjoy life and know the true purpose for being here on planet Earth. Don't let this opportunity pass you. This testimony is not something that I make up. This testimony is true. And if God did it for me, he can do it for you. So I encourage you to be all that God wants you to be. God bless you.